Hi friends, here I am on the principal axis of a concave mirror. Can you predict where my image will be formed and the properties of the image? One method is to use the light ray rules and draw a ray diagram like this. As you can see, this is the position of my image. And it's a real, inverted and diminished image. I discussed this method of image formation using ray diagrams in an earlier video. If you haven't watched that video, do check it out. In the video, I'm the object and we try to find the position and nature of the image using the light ray rules. In this video, we are going to learn a completely different approach. We are going to look at sign convention and some formulae for mirrors that will help us predict the nature and position of the image. We'll see how to apply these formula by looking at some examples. Remember, there are two types of spherical mirrors, concave mirror and convex mirror. The two methods that we talked about, ray diagrams and formulae will give us the same answer for the nature and position of the image. But the formula method is more powerful because if two things are known, you can easily calculate the third unknown using the formula. For example, if the object position and focal length are given, then we can find the image position. Or if we know the object and image position, we can easily calculate the focal length of the mirror. In this video, our focus is going to be on this formula approach. But before we look at the formula, we need to know the sign convention for spherical mirrors. According to the sign convention, the object and image distances, the object and image heights and the focal length of the mirror, they all have a sign, positive or negative. The sign is decided by the sign convention. Let me show you a very simple way to understand the sign convention. Imagine we are placing the coordinate axis, the x, and y-axis with the origin at the pole of the mirror and the x-axis is along the principal axis as shown here. In this example, we are using a concave mirror. Hold on, let me go ahead and stand on the principal axis and show you the sign convention. Here I am at the pole of the mirror and at the origin of the x and y-axis. According to the sign convention, the object is always placed on the left-hand side of the mirror. So light from the object is coming from the left-hand side. All distances parallel to the principal axis are measured from the pole of the mirror. Distances that are measured to the right of the origin, that is along the positive x-axis are considered to be positive and distances measured to the left of the origin that is along the negative x-axis are considered to be negative. Distances measured perpendicular and above the principal axis that is along the positive y-axis are considered to be positive and distances measured perpendicular and below the principal axis that is along the negative y-axis are considered to be negative. Similarly, for the convex mirror, imagine you are placing the coordinate axis, the x and y-axis with the origin at the pole of the convex mirror and the x-axis is along the principal axis as shown here. Once again, when we measure the distances and heights, they have a sign according to the sign convention. Let's place the sign convention for concave and convex mirrors on our concept board. Now let's take a look at the formulae for concave and convex mirrors. The first formula is called the mirror formula. 1 by V plus 1 by U equals 1 by F. Here V is the 
image distance. Remember, the distances are measured from the pole of the mirror. So V, the image distance, is the distance from the pole to the image. U, the object distance, is the distance from the pole to the object. And F here is the focal length of the mirror. So it's the distance from the pole to the focus of the mirror. These distances have a sign, positive or negative, based on the sign convention. Let's go ahead and take a look at an example. Let's say the object is placed 15 centimeters in front of this concave mirror. Since the distance is measured from the pole and it's along the negative x-axis, so u equals minus 15 centimeters. Typically, the object distance will always be negative since the object is placed on the left side of the mirror. Let's say that the focal length is 10 centimeters. The focal length is the distance from the pole to the focus. Since the focus is in front of the mirror, the focal length is along the negative x-axis. So f equals minus 10 centimeters. Now we want to find the image distance v. What sign should we take for v? Positive or negative? That's right, we don't take the sign. Since v is unknown here, we don't write the sign for it. We will automatically get the sign once we solve for v using the formula. To find the image distance v, let's apply the first formula, the mirror formula. 1 by v plus 1 by u equals 1 by f. Let's substitute the values with their correct sign. On solving, we get v equal to minus 30 centimeters. This means that the image is 30 centimeters from the pole of the mirror and along the negative x-axis. So it's a real image since it is formed in front of the mirror. The second formula is regarding magnification. Magnification m is defined as image height by the object height. In symbol form, it's usually written as m equal to h dash by h, where h dash is the image height and h is the object height. Or in some textbooks, you might find it as m equal to i by o. Once again, i is the image height and o here is the object height. Now let's understand magnification with the help of a simple example. Let's say I'm standing in front of a concave mirror. Here I'm the object and let's say my height on your screen is 4 centimeters. Since my height is measured from the principal axis and it's along the positive y-axis, so my height or the object height is going to be plus 4 centimeters. Now my image here is magnified and it has a height of 8 centimeters. Once again, the image is along the positive y-axis. So the image height is plus 8 centimeters. Now what's the magnification here? Remember the formula? m equals image height by object height. So if you substitute the numbers, we get m as 2. And this makes sense because the image is two times the object height. The image is double of the object here. Now if I stand in front of a convex mirror, remember a convex mirror always gives a diminished image. So let's say my image in the convex mirror is half of my height. The object height here and the image height are both positive because they are measured along the positive y-axis. So what's the magnification here? That's right, the magnification is half. And the number makes sense because the image is half of the object height. Now let us look at a case where the image is inverted in a concave mirror. So what's the magnification here? 
let's use the magnification formula m equal to image height divided by the object height. Now the image height here is minus 8 centimeters because the image is along the negative y axis and the object height is plus 4 centimeters because I'm the object and my height is measured along the positive y axis. So the magnification is minus 2. Now the negative sign tells us that the image is inverted and 2 tells us that the image height is double of the object height. The third formula relates magnification to the image and object distance. Magnification m is the negative of image distance divided by the object distance. We can write it as m equal to minus v by u. Now if we combine the second and the third formula, we get a fourth formula. h dash by h equals minus v by u. So we have a total of four formulae for our spherical mirrors. Let's place the four formulae for spherical mirrors on our concept board. Now let's take a look at some examples of how to apply the sign convention and formulae for mirrors. Let's start with our first example. Find the position, nature and size of the image when an object of size 1 cm is placed at a distance of 9 cm from a concave mirror of focal length 6 cm. First you should draw a rough diagram of a concave mirror and an object placed in front of the mirror. Next draw the x and y axis for the sign convention. Now let's write the data given to us. Object distance u equals 9 cm. We also need to consider the sign. What is the sign here? Since the object is on the negative x axis, u is equal to minus 9 cm. Now what should we write as the focal length f of the concave mirror? Plus 6 cm or minus 6 cm? That's right, f is equal to minus 6 cm. Since the object is along the positive y axis, object height h is equal to plus 1 cm. We need to find the image distance and the image height. Since these are unknown to us, we don't have to worry about their sign. To find the image distance, let's write the mirror formula. 1 by v plus 1 by u equal to 1 by f. Substituting the values and solving, we get the image distance v equal to minus 18 centimeters. So the image is formed on the negative x-axis, that is in front of the mirror and at a distance of 18 centimeters from the mirror. To find the nature and size of the image, we need to find the magnification. Let's use the magnification formula m equal to minus v by u. Substituting the image and object distances with their sign, we get m as minus 2. To find the image height, let's use the other formula for magnification. m equal to h dash by h where h dash is the image height and h is the object height. Substituting m and h, we get image height h dash equal to minus 2 centimeters. So the image height is 2 centimeters and the minus sign tells us that the image is inverted. So the image is real and inverted and the image size is 2 centimeters. Now let's try a convex mirror question. An object of height 5 cm is placed at a distance of 10 cm from a convex mirror which produces a virtual image of height 3 cm. Find the focal length of the mirror and the position of the image. Again the first thing you should do is draw a rough diagram of a convex mirror and an object placed in front of the mirror. Next, draw the x and y axis for the sign convention. Now let's write the data given to us. What should I write for the object distance u? 
plus 10 centimeters or minus 10 centimeters? You are right. U equals minus 10 centimeters. The object height H equals plus 5 centimeters since the object is along the positive y axis. A virtual image of height 3 centimeters is produced. So, will the image height h dash be plus 3 centimeters or minus 3 centimeters? That's right, h dash equals plus 3 centimeters. Remember, a virtual image is always upright, it is erect. The upright image is along the positive y axis, so the image height will be positive. First, let's find the magnification m using the object and image heights. m equals image height h dash divided by the object height h. Substituting the values, we get magnification as 3 by 5, which is equal to 0 0.6. Now, let's use the other magnification formula m equal to minus v by u to find the image distance. Substituting the magnification and object distance values, we get the image distance v equal to plus 6 centimeters. The image is along the positive x axis. So, the image is formed 6 centimeters behind the convex mirror. We know the object distance and image distance. Now, we can easily calculate the focal length using the mirror formula 1 by f equal to 1 by v plus 1 by u. Substituting the values and solving, we get f equal to plus 15 centimeters. The focal length of a convex mirror is positive, since the focus lies behind the mirror on the positive x-axis. I hope the concept of sign convention and formulae for spherical mirrors is crystal clear to you now. Friends, the best way to revise this topic is to practice more sums. And do check out the full courses for physics, chemistry, biology, maths and computer coding on our website manuchaacademy.com. I'll put the links below. Hope you like it and happy learning.